Hey, hey guys, it's Hammer here, and welcome back to Doorways, episode 4, chapter 2, and I just forgot the name of the chapter. Anyways, let's get started. We just go d went down from the elevator, from the room, from the basement. Felix Lundberg, Gothenburg, Sweden, 1954. Artist, sculptor. Connected to diverse missing persons by witnesses and relatives, Doorway's investigations detected that he was one of the last persons to interact with the victims. The case has been kept under wraps, given his social status. He is a renowned sculptor and a consultant for the Royal Swedish Academy of Fine Arts, the place where several missing people were last seen. I think Doorway's is an investigation team or something like that from what she just said why am I running is there something okay that's a gear I don't know why what's the use of it and I suppose there's something else over that way nothing is here it's totally dark I can't see oh here's the gear Okay, I can now pull the lever and have this. Hello. Just want to go out from this place. Let me out. Let me out. No more secrets. Let me out. Hello there, big human. Is this a door? The personality of the sculptor is very complex. It has many layers, each one concealing the next. To discover them, one has to earn the trust of their owner and know which intimate mechanisms to trigger. The entrance to his lair was closed, but that was to be expected. He wouldn't let anyone into the refuge of his most secret thoughts and memories. The answer was hidden somewhere else. I still had to research all the clues that I was sure were waiting for me ahead. I had a faint suspicion about their nature. Deep inside, I was hoping to be wrong. Okay, so... I have to open this door but it can't be opened so there must be something else to do and here's the something else and there's a death hole and this is a something 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 okay so what to do with that is absolutely I don't know I will check this place okay is this a hole or it's totally dark I can't see anything I can't pull this I can't pull this Seriously, I have strong human. I have strong human powers, though. What the hell? I can push it and pull it just easily like that. I told you for them the first game I played. It is he is a superhuman, but no one believed me. Actually, no one is watching my videos, which is sad for me. I'm not sure what to do here. So I'm gonna keep pulling those pillars. I 
equal to, but what's the purpose of those? Parkour of k k k. Hello? Okay. It's an elevator. Is it going up or down? Pretty not sure. I'm not confident. Do I have to take something from here? Nope. It seems I have to take something from here, but it's not allowing me. And... Thank you for opening the lights. Switching on. And what is this statue representing? <sighs> Let's go that first. Oh, nope. I think this went up. I think. Why is there blood everywhere? There's a picture. Okay. Am I a tiny man or some sort of that thing? I don't think so. It's locked though. There's something I have to do with those. Pretty, pretty sure there's a note. I had descended to a deeper area in the sculptor's museum. In front of me, I could see a sculpture that gave me the shivers. I couldn't understand exactly why until I remembered where I'd seen it. Its face was the same as one of the missing persons that I was ordered to search for while I was investigating this case. It was a man that was last seen with the sculptor in one of his occasional excursions out of his mansion. The body of the sculpture had a classical style that reached for perfection, but his face was silently screaming for help and looked at me begging for something that I would never understand completely. There was something about this statue that kept me on my toes. I couldn't understand exactly what. To me, the statues were nothing more than statues, and they couldn't hurt me. But for the sculptor, there was something else. The representation of strength, power, and beauty applied as punishment to any foreign enemy. That feeling was overwhelming, and I slowly began to be afraid of the sculptures. But I couldn't take my eyes off them. Congratulations, dude. You've made something. And that sculptor, and... Oh, I can go down. And can't go up again. Oh, I can. The strong man. Or. Oh, what is this? Can I have this key, please? Can I have the key? Come on, the key's there. Just stretch your hand. The key's right there. Stretch your hand and get it. Just get, get, get the key. What's wrong with you? Just stretch your hand. Ah, stupid game mechanics. Ah. This is stupid. Do I have to jump over here and take the key? Just stretch your hand like a regular person. Okay, do I have to push it there? So I take it from here, like face to face against this person. Please give me the key.
Do I have to run? I have to run, right? Oh crap. I can't see nothing. But that monster is approaching. Oh crap. Got to find the key. Got to find the key. Got to get the key. Get the key. Come on, come on. There's no time. The monster is coming to get me. I guess I get it. Just need to. No, no, the key. Need to juke him again. Giant? Oh, giant. I don't see him. Which scares me. Giant? Come over here, giant. Did he miss me? I don't see him. Which scares me. Because I don't know his, how hairy he is. Okay, he's so close. He's so close. This is not good. This is not good. He's so close. Okay, I got to run. I got to run. It's up and right. Right? It's up and. Oh, giant. Okay, he's there. I can't see his shadow. Please tell me it's up and. Please tell me it's up and. Yes. Oh. Gladly. Hmm. Giants. Weak. Giants. <laughs> Giants. Uh, I want my mommy. I don't want to investigate this anymore. I'm done. No, thank you. There is one over here, and I have the key for it. And why did you turn around when I clicked E? I remember there's someone, something here. Haha. Uh -huh. And this is a fuse. And why do you have a fuse? Why do you need a fuse? I think for the elevator. Hmm. Open another. Oh, it said dead fuse. And why do I need a dead fuse, anyways? Hallelujah. Is there a fuse charger? Can I take it out? Ah, nah. Am I going up or? I'm going up. I think so. Am I stuck? No, just put it down. Put it there. Why did I take it off? Why? Why? I think I need to put the dead fuse for the, for the door to open. Okay, I'm stuck. Oh, here's the door. How stupid. What's the deal? What's the big doodles here? I don't understand what's the big doodles. Ooh, parkour. Fuck. Okay, this time I will not fail. Like a loser. This is a bit far, but I can reach the tip of the edge. Wait. This is familiar, but I don't think this is the start. No, this is something different. And here's something else. Or a note. Represent real people, acquaintances of the sculptor, perhaps. What catches my attention is how his mind has warped their proportions and musculature in the interest of achieving the aesthetic ideal that he considers perfection. I understand that he wanted to imprint his style in his work, but that's not the case here. He 
feels like he could change the work of nature, improving it in every aspect. Okay, I respect your point of view, but you are stupid. I respect you, but you are stupid. I'm sorry, I have to say that. So that's why I had to jump. So I don't fall down and kill myself. So I have all the pieces I need, so why not going back? And why am I coming here? This is not the right way, idiot. And here, you are lost. This is the way to perfection. So, what do I do is... There has to be something to do here, I think. Have to get past there, but how? There must be something to do with other rooms around. But I don't think there is something around. I just came running, rushing without going left or right. So this is the place I came from. And I saw... Never came here, never been here. So a key, I think. Nope. So, oh, it's the pieces then. So first this. Nope. I think it's this one. Okay, so what's... What's going on? This is not an ordinary place. Nope, nope, nope. So next is this. I do not see what is ordinary in this place. This is like God of War something something. And that's the only explanation I can say about this game. Or this chapter. Oh, we faced the giant. A naked giant. For a key. And I kicked his ass like a boss. And he knows I'm the best here. And I'm the best investigator here. And he knows that. And this is not the right way, I think. I think I have to go to the elevator or somewhere, somewhere. think so. I'm not quite sure. Because, see, I opened the place here, but I just realized I'm stupid enough to not investigate this place. So we're crossing the place now. Crossing the bridge. <sighs> we're going down now. We are here. To this elevator. Close the door. Okay. So I'm gonna leave it. Leave this episode here. This is great. I don't know why I say everything like I say it in every episode of this game, but it, this game is good so far, but it's worth the money. But I think the games, the other games of this series, like the second and the third game are going to be better than this. It This game lacks horror elements, more horror elements, it's just like take puzzles like that so let's just keep going and see if it's there's something else something new something scary in this game so thank you everybody for watching subscribe like watch other videos and i will see you next time goodbye